If you are premium knee brace shopping and you've got the Pod K8 2.0 or the Mobius X8 on your list, and you're trying to decide which one might be best for you, today I'm putting these head to head to help you make the right decision. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. So today we have two premium knee braces on the table, the K8 2.0 from Pod, the Mobius X8. With the very popular knee braces, I've ridden in both of these. There's a lot of things I really like and a few things that I think could be a little bit better with each one, but today that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna put these two knee braces head to head. We're gonna talk about price, the fit, construction, weight, straps, protection, as much good information as possible to help you decide between these two which one you feel might be best for you. You've got Justin Barsha, Adam Cincerulo that are rocking the pods right now, Cameron McAdoo, Christian Craig, the Lawrence Brothers, Ryan Villapoto are all rocking the X8, so they're worn by a lot of the best riders in the world. But we want to help you decide which one is best, so let's get started. First of all, price point. That is definitely something between these two that you're going to notice a big difference on. With the K8 2.0, you're around $800, so it's a big investment. With the Mobius X8, for the extra smalls, you're actually $399, and then for any other sizes above that, you're going to be $599. So again, from $600 for the larger sizes all the way up to $800, so a pretty, pretty noticeable price difference there. I do want to point out, however, that with the pods, if you like the K8 2.0, but maybe it's just you know, price point's a little bit hard to swallow. Check out the K4 2.0. That's almost the same knee brace, a few differences, but it comes in several hundred dollars less. So if you like the pod, want to save some money, definitely check out the K4 2.0. But let's get started. Talked about price. One thing to consider there. As far as the fitment goes, I've learned, like I said, I've worn both of these. They're both very comfortable knee braces. You want to make sure you're always using the sizing guide to know what size knee brace that you're going to need. But here's a couple of things that I like about both of these knee braces. With the pods, when you put these on, you've got four sizes in the K8 2.0. And when you get these, they actually include this extra set of pads right here. And these are just, you can call them shims, honestly. And they just go right here on the inside of the knee just to help you fine tune that fitment. So I like that you have that adjustability because not everyone's leg is going to be the exact same. So you've got that. And then with the Mobius, what's kind of cool, their padding system is obviously different just looking at it, but they give you two sets of pads of different thicknesses, including the one that comes on the brace. So you've actually got three different pads of different thicknesses that go around the inside of the knee area. So if I had to give the nod to whichever brace I think will help you get a little bit better fitment right out of the box, probably going to go with the X8. You've actually got five sizes versus four in the X8 as well, which is pretty cool. And you also have, so they have a tendon backplate on the Mobius, which we'll talk more about, but they actually include different pads of different thicknesses for that as well to help you get the best fit possible. So as far as customization to get the best fit, probably going to give the nod to the Mobius. Now construction. Like I said, with the K2.0, this is where a lot of that price is coming from. You have very high quality carbon fiber construction with this knee brace. It makes it very rigid, very strong. In fact, you have a five-year warranty with the K2.0, which is a lot of peace of mind when you're making an investment that big. And then with the Mobius X8, you actually have a nylon and injection nylon shell. So both of these actually are very, very comparable as far as weight goes. In fact, they're about an ounce difference, so not a whole lot there. So very comparable there, but they're both still a very rigid knee brace. With the pod, they say that this is unbreakable, and especially with that carbon fiber construction, is super strong. I do want to point out, however, a little, or point out a little difference here. On the bottom of the pods, these cuffs down here, you see actually have quite a bit of give. Same goes for the cuff up here on the top. What I like about this more than with the Mobius is that when you put this brace on, I like how the pods just allow this cuff to just wrap around your leg and just give you a little bit more of a contour fit. And they also say that with this design, it can help prevent a possible bone break because this has some give to it, but also this just kind of helps move with the shape of the leg and the muscles as they're working. So I like this system just a little bit more than with the Mobius, just because the Mobius you can see is very rigid, does not have a lot of give to it. 
And so, yeah, I would give the nod to the pods for that category. All right, let's talk about knee protection. Obviously, that's what you're investing in here. So with both of these, they both have great coverage in the front. What's unique about the pods is that this is a multi-sport knee brace. That's kind of how they market it. Because these two pieces here, I'll give you an idea of how that works, are actually removable. So if you're going to be doing a sport where you don't need to have the kneecap protection, you can just take it off. Take it off, put it back on when you're going to be using it. So a little bit more versatility, you could say, out of the paws because of that reason. Also, what is cool about the K2.0 is that this is an FDA or a medically certified knee brace. So if you're shopping for knee braces, do yourself a favor, contact your insurance and ask them if they'll cover the cost of a set of braces. I was actually just reading a customer review and he talked about how he was able to get his insurance to almost cover the entire cost of this knee brace. It's not gonna be the same for everyone, but it's definitely worth looking into, into. So that is definitely a perk in my book. Now with the Mobius, I will say, I like their kneecap protection system more. Not that the, the pod is bad by any means, but what I like about the Mobius is just how sleek that is. You can see it's overlapping. And I just like that you don't have any pieces that are just kind of dangling here. So for me, a little bit more low profile when you have it underneath the pants. Only thing that I noticed with the Mobius that I wasn't the biggest fan of, but there's a fix to it, is that with this brace, what would happen is my knee would be bent. I'd go to extend my leg to maybe go through a corner. And what would happen is this piece would actually pinch the fabric of my pants and not allow the knee brace to fully extend. So the fix that I found for that, simple, you can just buy an extra knee brace sleeve, wear it up over the top of the brace, and that won't allow it to do that. So if that does happen to you, that is a very simple fix. One important thing I did not mention earlier that I need to, as far as fitment goes and being low profile, that's a very common question. If you have large calves and you're looking for a brace that's gonna be low profile, the nod will go to the Mobius. Just looking at these two side by side at the lower cuff, you can easily see that the Mobius is just thinner so for me, that's important. I have a little over a 16 inch circumference around my calf. So I need a thin knee brace to be able to buckle my boots down. So that to me is a big win. If you have thinner calves and you're not too stressed about it, then the pod's gonna be just fine for you. All right, hinge systems. This is what we're talking about, protecting those ligaments. You've got two big bones with your knee and you've got four crucial ligaments that are holding everything together. This is what you're investing in to help prevent those bad injuries. How the Mobius works is they have a single pivot point right here on the side. So when I bend that, you can see it's a pretty simple design. But what's unique about their brace is right here on the back, they have their tenant back plate. And the tenant back plate is there just to help design, or it's designed to help support and add additional strength to the ligaments on the back of the knee to help give more protection there. So it's pretty unique. Also, another thing I do like about this tendon back plate is that it helps keep the knee brace in place pretty good and prevents from sliding down the leg. So that is the tendon back plate on the Mobius. With the pod, totally different. So what they actually do is they use their synthetic ligament. So it's the, it's the human motion hinge system that they have. Inside here, you actually have a fiber. It's a piece about this long made from a fiber called Vectrain, which they actually say is about five times stronger than steel. And the purpose for that is they want this knee brace, when it bends, to mimic the natural motion of the rider's knee. So they want this to stay in the correct place and do everything that your knee would normally do to help give the most protection possible. Now with those Vectran fibers that are there, it is important though that those do wear out eventually. So over time, it is important that you want to exchange those. What's nice though is that we sell a kit on our website. You can just buy that kit and you can change those out from your own house. You don't have to send the knee brace in the pod to have that done. As far as your extension stops, both of these do offer the, or give the ability to adjust the extension stop. With Mobius, it's a little insert right here in the front. They'll have additionals that will come included. So if you want the knee brace to lock out earlier, you can do that. With the pod, a little bit different. They actually have this piece right here that drops into the hinge and it's a progressive dampening. So rather than just having the knee brace lock out completely when it gets to a certain degree, this will actually start to dampen the movement and then it will stop the knee brace from locking out a little bit before it goes vertical. And again, that's gonna all be right or preference whether or not you want to use those. For me personally, I've never really you know, tinkered with it. I've always just liked my knee brace to lock out when it gets to straight up and down. Both of them, honestly, as far as changing those out, I'd call it a tie. This is really easy to just drop into the hinge and then with the Mobius, it's just a screw on the back, you take it out, pop in the new insert, simple to do. All right, those are the hinge systems. And now I will say, when I'm riding in both of these, I honestly couldn't tell you the difference. 
So, you know, with the hinge system, as long as it's doing its job, it's offering the protection, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, but from a riding standpoint, it's really hard to even tell the difference between a hinge system once you have a knee brace on under your pants and you're riding. But what you will notice a lot though, are strap configurations. Nothing is worse than when you have an expensive set of knee braces or even just knee guards and you're riding and you start to have them dig in the back of your legs and chafe you. That sucks, I hate it. So I always recommend wear a knee brace sleeve. You can do something, there's some other pants that we sell that fold up over the knee brace that will help prevent that, also keep the knee braces in place. As far as the straps go though, with the pods, it's a four strap design, very simple. You will notice here though on the sides that you actually have these tabs. It's kind of nice, just makes it a little bit easier to take those on and off. The Mobius, different. We already talked about that tendon back plate, why it's there. Like I said, I like how this keeps it in place a little bit better. But the straps on the Mobius are thicker. And I actually like the straps on the Mobius a little bit more. As far as just comfort goes, I just like how large the pads are that they have on the back of those. So if I had to give the win to straps, I'm going to go with the Mobius in that category. All right, last thing we'll talk about is just durability. That's important. Like I said, you're making a big investment here. So looking at the foam on both of these, it's a different type of foam. They're both not going to absorb moisture, so they're not going to get all stinky after you've got these things hot and sweaty. However, if I have to give the knot to durability for one, I'm going to go with the pods. I've ridden in both of these. Like I said, I had two full seasons. In fact, I had even more than two seasons on the Mobius. I had two full seasons on the pods, so a lot of hours in both. The pods for me held up really, really good. After two full seasons, I'm talking over 100 hours of riding easily, I had no issues with the foam, the straps are still in good condition, so I have to say the durability on the pods is really good. With the Mobius, it's good, but it's not as good as the pods because the padding on the Mobius is just a little bit softer, it's not as firm, and what happened was, after I wore these, I got a lot of hours in them, I could tell that this padding would just kind of start to break down a little bit, it would start to get thinner, and then eventually what I would do is I would just get new pads and have to put them in. So that is one thing that I noticed. So for me, as far as durability goes, when it comes to the padding, the knee brace, I would give the nod to the pods. But that is it. That is my verses of these two knee braces side by side. So there's some things that I like more about the pods, some things I like more about the Mobius, but again, I wanna hear your guys' feedback. Which one do you have? Or maybe you have another knee brace that you've been wearing that you like, so leave your comments and your feedback below. That's going to be awesome. As far as which one of these that I would choose, if I could only pick one, it's a really tough decision because I like both. When I'm riding with both these on, I honestly wouldn't have an issue with either one of them. If I had to give the slight nod, and this is simply just because I have such a big calf, I'd probably go with the Mobius just because it is thinner down at the bottom it makes it easier for me to buckle up my boots because as far as protection goes on both of these i think they're both pretty equal i think they do a great job so i'd probably go with the mobis for that reason but like i said i would be stoked with either one of these knee braces to grab your set today it's simple click on the link or head over to rockymountatvmc.com don't forget we do have our product spotlights on both of these so if you want to learn about these in full detail give those a watch also we do have our fit guarantee when you buy these, like I said, use the sizing guide, but if you get it, if you're not happy with how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition, and we want to give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. It could be for the same brace in a different size or a completely different brace to make sure you're happy with what you have. If you like this versus, make sure you get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, stay up to date, and always watch the latest and greatest from our channel. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.